This person, the stranger, I'll be like, has he killed somebody? <laughs> Look at him! First time masturbation experience, so now thoda. I'm, I'm, I'm kidding with it here. I love you. Go and comment pubes under today. <laughs> people have bitched about the other person to me. Like, both the people have bitched about the other person to me. <laughs> Next 1 million. Yo, Akfam, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, guys. Good morning to me, but the time is 4 o'clock. I have woken up just one hour ago because I had a late night. I was uploading the video of me dating Tarani, like Tarani and I dated for 24 hours. I'm so, so happy you guys are loving that video. If you haven't seen it, it'll be up here somewhere. You can click on one of these things. Go watch that video. I just want to say thank you so much for all the love on that video. Anyway, let's get into today's video. Today's video is a hashtag Ask Agastya video. In this series, you guys basically ask me questions about a certain topic or just in general and I answer them for you okay today's topic is puberty and growing up and a lot of these questions are about masturbating but okay I will answer all of these questions for you I ask you guys on my Instagram at Agastya if you want to follow me there for these questions so if you haven't followed me already go follow me I have not taken a bath because Mumbai is being a bitch right now it's extremely cold nobody asks what will be your action if you spot blood stain over a stranger's wear? If this person is a stranger, I'll be like, has he killed somebody? <laughs> no, I'm joking. Like, obviously you're saying this in like the context of like a girl bleeding, right? On a period. Um, if it's a stranger, I wouldn't really do anything because I don't know that person. But if it's like a friend, I'd obviously like, obviously go, do you, need, do you need a pad? How do you deal with mood swings and anxiety during puberty? First, talking about mood swings, okay? Mood swings are very, very common during puberty. It's because your body's changing. What you think, how you think, how your body behaves changes during puberty you know and like it evolves into like your final form so dealing with mood swings the best way is just to find something that you know can neutralize you like something that uh, just helps you on record ah, look at him I'm shooting yeah. wait 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 how do I shoot a YouTube video in this household? Like I was saying, you need to find something that calms you. <laughs> That's how you deal with mood swings. I just had a mood swing here where I got angry. Next question. Everyone's in a relationship and I haven't had my first relationship yet. I am 17. So I think you're trying to say that you're 17 but you've not had your first relationship. Like in my 11th grade, I think I had my first like proper relationship. It's totally normal. I know people who are 20 right now and have not had their first relationship. If you haven't had a relationship, it's, it's maybe just because you should focus on yourself right now and just don't overthink it do it so much like if something's meant to happen or if somebody likes you they'll tell you and then if you like them you date don't actively hunt for a relationship because that almost never works yeah honestly quite lucky because you skip through that bullshit part and you'll date somebody when you're mature like honestly you're lucky i was kind of on the fence about answering this question but then i'm like okay we're making a video on puberty let's let's talk about this first time masturbation experience so now thoda so now thoda i was completely unnecessary i was 12 or 13 and uh, i was home alone obviously i had just got like my first phone like it's some Samsung phone I was on my bed and I had just stumbled across this thing called porn my, my friends used to talk about it I was like okay let's see what this thing is because I didn't know what porn is I opened it and I was like Oh. <laughs> but then yeah whatever whatever happened and that was like my first masturbating experience like it was when I was 13 or 14 how to remove acne and pimples during puberty brother I'm the worst person to ask this like I have so many acne scars on like my face at that time it was much much worse and I think the worst thing I did was pop them or like scratch them I still do it like it sucks just go see a dermatologist as early as you can and how to remove acne it a uh, doctor will maybe you know give you like a cream or something like that is masturbating with porn okay yeah I just said like the first time I'm how else do you masturbate for the first time uh, yeah 100% masturbating to porn is okay parents treat us like grown-up adults now and ask us about our future plans but I really don't know what I want to do in life I'd say talk to your parents um, that mom dad I don't know what I want to do in life can you help me figure it out maybe take me to a career counselor like you'll have a career counselor in your school I think and go to them talk to people just, just look around like what are people doing what interests you don't waste your life like don't not do anything just because you don't know what you want to do in your life that's all I'm saying if you don't know what you want to do try new things because that's how you'll actually figure out what you're good at and what you 
you like and what you can actually make a living off of doing. Next one, how has puberty changed you? I changed a lot during puberty, dude. Even during puberty, I was not confident at all. I used to doubt myself. Just was scared of being like my own self. Like again, I'll show you Potato Agastya. This guy was not confident. He was not sure what he wants to do. He didn't have that many friends if I'm being honest. But it changed me in a way that I learned to be there for myself. I learned to grow alone and um, you know, make friends on my own journey and not actively just go out of my way just to make friends. You know, I wanted to grow myself also. What was the worst thing according to you in puberty? I think the worst thing is thinking everybody else is changing around you and not understanding why. Because this used to be a thing that would happen to me a lot. I used to be like, why are all my friends changing? Like, why is my family's behavior towards me changing? Like, why is my brother's attitude towards me changing? Like, I'm, I'm kidding, Aditya. Uh, I love you. He's just behind. <laughs> My point is like, why is everybody else changing? You feel like that when it's actually you. You feel like, why are my friends changing? When even your friends are going through puberty at the same time. They are changing too. They are having like major changes in your life. So are you. Next, are pimples normal? Bro, what are these? Yes, obviously pimples are normal. Like freaking even who's the most good looking guy in the world, bro? Like David Beckham has pimples. Like maybe not now, but he did have pimples during puberty. Even Hrithik Roshan got pimples during his puberty. I bet my life. Hrithik, if you're watching this, comment so my viewers are confident. <laughs> Next question, how do you deal with peer pressure? Honestly, I have not had that difficulty dealing with peer pressure. Like obviously when we're growing up, you know, in our 16s to 18s, everybody's drinking around you, alcohol, everybody's smoking cigarettes around you, everybody's doing a lot of other things and you're gonna get forced into it, right? It's all about understanding what you want to do, right? I'm not saying there is a right or a wrong answer. It's understanding if you want to do it, you do it, but don't do it for the wrong reason. Don't do it to impress people. Don't do it to be cool. If even one person is watching this video right now and they're not thinking about doing anything just so your friends think you're cool, don't do it, bro. It's not worth it. Do it if you want to do it. If you want the experience, then do it. But don't do it for somebody else. That's that's all I'd say. That's how you deal with peer pressure. I'm short and I don't like it. Bro, I'm short too. I'm 5'5". Five five. I agree. Like, it used to be a major... Like, I can't explain how big of an insecurity that was for me at, at a period of time in my life because I was, like, the shortest guy in my friend group, right? And I thought girls only like tall guys. That's not true. Trust me, bro. Your personality speaks for you much, much more than your height or your weight or how you look or anything like that. If you're short and you're not feeling confident, bro, I tell you what I did. I faked it till I made it. Like, I literally used to, like, I used to walk around school when I'm the shit, even when I knew I was not the most attractive guy or, like, the most good-looking guy. That gave me confidence. And if I'm being honest, like, I know, like, I am pretty confident today. Like, I know, like, I'm good in the way I am. Uh, why are boys so eager to have a beard? I don't know, bro. I've never been eager to have a beard. Like, seriously, I'd look like a freaking gunda, I feel like, if I had a beard. Like a, a little gunda walking around. <laughs> I don't know why guys, I think again, girls, girls find beards attractive, all these reels, all these things. I don't want a clean shaving guy, I want a guy with a beard. You see, girls, what you're doing to my boys. But yeah, man, don't be so eager to have a beard because when it will grow, like right now also, I don't get beard, but I get like thoda thoda hair, which I need to keep shaving because it looks like pubic hair on my face. What age does the voice usually crack? I think my voice cracked at when I was 15 or 16. Like I remember my voice used to be like this. And one day I woke up and my voice was like this. Like, and I I used to have like cracks in the middle, I used to be like, I'm telling my mom, mom, I'm going out. Mom! I'm going out. Losing virginity or kissing during teenage is really important. Everybody keeps nagging me. It's important, sure. But if people keep nagging you and you're doing it because of that, that's wrong. If you wanna, you know, do whatever kiss, anything else you wanna do, you do it if you wanna do it. Don't do it because somebody else is telling you. Uh, and you know, I think there's a right time for you when you will feel comfortable and when you will feel like you actually wanna do, you know, do it even if it comes to that, you know, do whatever. Oh, the cool group questions are here. <laughs> there's a cool group who parties so much and I don't even have friends. I feel depressed. Honestly, it's not only during puberty, it happens to me also where I think there's this cool group who parties all the time and you you know, I'll give you like a small secret. At least if this is a group of like 15, 20 people, eight to nine people in that group don't like each other. Like I'm not even joking. I swear to God, you think all these groups are like meet up, party, have fun. Half of them don't like each other, bro. People have bitched about the other person to me. Like both the people have bitched about the other person to me. I was like, okay, if y'all are friends like this, you're bitching about your own friends to another friend, I don't think I want to be in that group. Honestly, if there's a cool group like that, make your own group. Honestly, I I'd take like a sleepover with like Krishit and Ayush, my two best friends, over a big party at this point. Because I know like they are genuine guys, we'll have fun. More than a cool group, I'd say find your core group.
And trust me, you'll go to parties with these friends and you'll have more fun with these friends than you will with this cool group, bro. Because all these guys are just fake people, I'm telling you. And last question, let's end this video. One advice for all teenagers. If one thing if I were to say to any teenager watching this right now, this is my last year of my... Oh my God, I'm becoming old. I'm 19 right now. In less than nine months, I'll be turning 20. My teen, teen years are over. Just be yourself. Like as cliche or as simple as it sounds. I swear if I were to go back in time and tell 13 year old Agassi just entering his teenagers like how should he be like literally just be yourself. I wasted a good 3-4 years of my life trying to impress a certain group of people or like trying to be cool and not be myself. I was literally mean to kids so some other kids would think I'm cool and I hate myself to this day for doing that because it's just not the right thing to do. Just be yourself. Be authentic to yourself. Do what you want to do. Don't let anybody like it's literally what I tell you guys dude like whoever's in the Fam. like chase your dreams don't be afraid to be different be yourself like that's literally an advice that I wanna that's literally what I say at the end and the start of every video that's literally like my uh, advice to every teenager or anybody watching the video Woo! Good video, hectic video, deep video, bro. I like having like the real conversation with you guys. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Uh, I really like this Ask Augusta videos because I feel like I can like connect to you better and I can have real conversations with you and not only do crazy shit. I have a lot of crazy shit planned for you, but I also like having conversations with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Join the Ag Fam. We're dream chasers. We're not afraid to be different, and we push each other to become better people every single day. Go comment. What will you comment under today's video? I'm a teenager bro, I get to have fun. Go and comment pubes under today. <laughs> Let's start a few chain in the comments. I love you guys. If you're a teenager watching this again, I'm telling you just be yourself and your life will be your dream life. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you later. Okay, chalo. Bye.